Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Socially Irresponsible Distancing, a phony phonathon. I'm your host, Colin Doyle, and tonight we will be raising money for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund, a very real fund that was recently formed to help families in need in the Woodstock area. They are currently seeking both applicants as well as donors. So let's get those phones ringing and let's raise some money for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here. I have to be honest, this is a great turnout this evening here at the Grange Theater. We have a wonderful night of entertainment for you tonight, brought to you in part by Artistry's Grange Theater, the Woolen Mill Comedy Club, musical guest Indigenous Entertainment, original video content by Socially Irresponsible Sketch Group, as well as a grand illusion that will be performed tonight by Hickory, the Drunken Underwhelming. But we, before we start with all that entertainment, folks, I'd like to talk to you personally. I know that this crisis is something that has affected us all, so I would like to share with you some of my hopes and dreams in 2020 that have been destroyed. 2020 was a year that I was supposed to be employed. It was a year that I planned on shaving. I thought I would be spending time in my ridiculously expensive apartment in Brooklyn, New York, as well as getting my dual citizenship in Italy. Yes, several places that are dear to my heart have been affected by this crisis. I was lucky enough to spend some time in Italy last year, and I'm obviously glad that I did. Before I left for Italy, people warned me. They said, Colin, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. There are pickpockets. There are pickpockets in Italy. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and work in Midtown Manhattan uh, late at night. I wish I was worried about pickpockets. In this country, we have hardened criminals. I would love to walk down the street someday and say, my wallet's gone and I'm not bleeding? Thank you, pickpocket. Thank you for being a professional thief. New York City is a place that has obviously taken the brunt of this storm. And my thoughts and prayers go out to all the families that have been affected by the COVID-19 crisis. New York is a place that this whole country loves. It's America's hometown. Yet sometimes New Yorkers get a bad rap. People say they're jerks or that they're arrogant. And that can be true. I think that uh, New Yorkers come across a little arrogant when we refer to New York as the city. When you ask anyone from New York where they're from, they say, hey, I'm from the city like there's only one in all of America. People say, you know, you ask someone where they're from, you ask someone where they're from, and they say New York. God forbid you ask what part of New York. They usually say, New York, New York, you ever heard of it? You don't see this in other places, like Massachusetts. I never met someone from Massachusetts and say, where about some Massachusetts are you from? They say, Massachusetts, Massachusetts? It's the city? You just don't see that. 2020 was the year that I was going to apply for my dual citizenship in Italy. When people hear that I'm Italian, they say, with a name like Doyle? Like my mother had nothing to do with me being born. It's kind of patriarchal, if you ask me. I hope you all have been enjoying watching the news as much as I have. And it goes without saying, uh, we have to make a public announcement. Please do not drink the bleach. But enough about me. Tonight, it's about you guys. Tonight is about having a wonderful night of entertainment where we can all come together to laugh and to raise money for our fellow neighbors here in the Woodstock area. So let's get those phones called. Caller number one, you're on the line. Well, hi, Colin. I, I really got to be honest with you. I'm having a lovely time at home. Right, My right. garden is getting I'm started. sorry, caller number one, we're going to have to cut you off. Caller number two, you're on the air, socially irresponsible distancing. How you doing? Uh, hey, Colin. Um, you know, I I'm here at home with uh, three children, uh, two of them still in diapers. I'm sorry to cut you short, caller number two, but we're going to have to get, uh, get to our next callers. Uh, caller number three, uh, please tell us, how do you plan on spending your $1,200? Yeah, hey there, Colin. I'm excited to get my 1200 bucks from the federal government. Going to get my 4 by lifted up. Going to go four-wheeling this weekend. Yeah! Uh, thank you very much, Barnard Vermont. Tonight, we have a live stand-up comedy show from the Woolen Mill Comedy Club. Brian Munzer is going to be the host of the show this evening, and it's his first time hosting a comedy show, so he's a little nervous. 
We're going to check in with Brian now and see how he's doing. Yeah. Oh, hey, thanks, Colin. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm backstage here at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club. And as you know, I'm excited to be hosting my first show. I haven't seen a whole lot of details on the ticket sales, but I'm really hoping we get a packed house tonight and that we raise a lot of money for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund. Well, things seem to be going a little slow at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club. We'll check in later with Brian and see again how he's doing. Uh, excuse me, folks, I'm getting a phone call right now. Uh, we've got some donations coming in. Wow, wow, that is great news. We have just received a donation for $500 for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund. That is wonderful. We're trying to raise $500,000 for this event tonight, so that is great news. Thank you so much to all our donors. Let's keep those uh, donations coming in. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm very excited because this evening, Hickory, the drunken underwhelming, will be performing his grandest illusion yet. He will be making himself disappear off of a bridge surrounded by water. Next up, for your viewing pleasure, we have some original video content brought to you by Socially Irresponsible Sketch Group. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Even does kosher chia seeds? I mean, no, like, that's I know. not even a thing. I think. Oh. Excuse me, are you lost? The kickboxing class is down the hall. Oh no, I'm here for yoga. <laughs> you, you're here for yoga. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've never met a guy who was into yoga before. <laughs> Seriously, since when does that happen? How long have you been doing yoga? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, a while? Yeah, right. I bet you just started when it got really popular. Look, I'm just gonna get ready for class, okay? <laughs> what, is that like the only brand of yoga mat you even know? What's wrong with it? Oh, well, nothing if you don't know anything about yoga. Yeah, what's your favorite position? I guess it's... And don't even say downward facing dog because everyone knows that position. I was gonna say wheel pose. Okay, so you know one. Name all eight chakras. Are you serious? Well, if you don't know them. All right. Um, Muladhara, Svadasana, Manapura, Anahata, Vishuddha, Bindu, and Sahasra. You forgot Anja. Yeah. You poser. I bet he doesn't even know how to regulate his breathing. Oh, you're just fake doing yoga. I don't need this. I'm going to kickboxing class. <sighs> fake yoga guys. Always pretending they like stuff for attention. Right? I mean... It does suck that guys never want to come to yoga classes, though. Yeah. Welcome to Socially Irresponsible's Fight Night. I'm your host, Jonathan Donovan, along with my color commentator, Stan Straight. We have a great fight in store for you tonight, so let's get to the stats. Let's start with the first opponent, Roy Watts Watkins. He is a major fighter in the world of refrigeration battles, but he has a huge challenge tonight. Am I right, Stan? You're definitely right. Tonight he fights the fridge, the better known as... The ice block. That's right, the ice block, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most feared refrigerators in fighting today. But let's not keep talking about it. Let's check out the action. Here we see Roy seems to be getting ready. It's He's sizing up the competition. No, he's really being district. I believe he's peeing on the competition. Well, that that is not regulation rules when fighting a refrigerator. So he's already fighting dirty. 
the icebox really wouldn't tolerate that if he was paying attention. Obviously, the icebox is looking, thinking on other things right now. Yeah, like what's inside of him, what he has to keep cold, and he doesn't really care about his appoint, uh, opponent, apparently. Uh, this is a very tough... Oh, oh, he's opened the freezer. Oh, very dis... Oh! Oh, that was a slap right there. First of all, the icebox have never been slapped like that before. I've never seen this before in all my years of commentating on refrigerator fights. I, Roy, oh Roy is just manhandling him. I don't know where this anger is coming from, but Roy is really full of I, I think Roy... Uh, the backstory of Roy Watkins is that he was actually a very angry child because one time he was stuck in a refrigerator oh. and his parents tried to get rid of him. One time uh, I was stuck in the refrigerator. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Boy, we shouldn't talk man. about that. Uh, let's move on. Roy has now made the fridge of uh, ice boxes open, completely open. Very vulnerable. Very right vulnerable now. right yeah, now and we're seeing a lot of things we shouldn't see. Uh, there'll probably be black bars over it. Oh! Oh! My God. Oh! oh. 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 Ice the fridge come back. fights back! Ice box has come back with a great suplex oh, right there. Oh, Roy is dazed right now. Oh, Roy look doesn't him. know what he wants to do, where he wants to be. I can't believe this. This is a shock right there out of nowhere. It was like a classic oh Muhammad Ali rope a dope ice box pulled off. We may need a toaster in on this one. Yeah, we might need. I don't know where the ref is. It, it seems everything is falling apart. Even when vulnerable, the fridge is ready and prepared for war. He is ready for anything, and Icebox has proved why he is the number one champion in refrigerating fighting. For Socially Irresponsible's Fight Night, I'm Jonathan Donovan. I'm Stan Straight. And you come back next week, same refrigerator battling time, same Socially Irresponsible channel. We'll be here. Thank you. <laughs>
Hey, Jeff, what am I going to have for lunch today? Oh, man. You know what are really good? Have you ever had those little cake things? The French ones? They're like a bunch of different colors, dude. They're like red, blue, green, purple, orange, blue. Like all the different colors, bro. So good, man. I gotta figure out where I had those. What's this one? Oh, um, I don't use that one. Myth, what's seven times two? I don't know about you, but I don't want any son of mine growing up with some frou-frou ability to draw pictures when what he ought to be learning is some hard-hitting American math. Like, what's two times seven? When your kid is sitting in front of the CEO interviewing for one of the many jobs our party is working to create, do you want him to lose that job to the Chinese kid who knows how to do math in his head? No. You want him to say with confidence, I know what 2 times 7 is, and I know who I'm voting for. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless America. Well, I guess they can be too dumb. Tonight's musical guest, Indigenous Entertainment. All right, how's everybody feeling out there? My pleasure to be able to play you a few happy tunes. Somewhere beside the sea All these stars that we are counting All we need for we is you and me Wanna hold you like the morning sunshine Keep you close, I won't let you go Little mama, tell me what's on your mind Come on over and make yourself at home Sure. If you get lonely, I might be the cure Take some caution, a word to the wise It's just another day in paradise Some of us work the nine to five Some of us, will we be out till four Ain't one of us getting out of here alive Here you ain't allowed in this town no more Gonna break my heart, I'm not so sure If you get lonely, I might be the cure Take some caution, a word to the wise It's just another day in paradise Another day in paradise Find myself somewhere beside a stream All these stars that we are counting All we need for we is you and me Gonna break my heart, I'm not so sure If you get lonely, I might be the cure Take some caution, a word to the wise It's just another day in paradise Another day in paradise Another day in paradise Are you? That was Indigenous Entertainment. If you enjoyed that music, please take a moment to find them on YouTube and like them on Facebook. Although I love spending time in New York City and in Italy, there's no place in the world I would rather be than here in Vermont. Vermont is a place that is very dear to my heart. I love to go snowboarding in Killington, and you can always tell who the real Vermonters are on the mountains because none of us look too good. We gotta have duct tape on something, some old jacket that we're still trying to get five more years out of, out of life with. If you're snowboarding down the mountain in the same gloves that look like you just stacked firewood with, chances are you're probably a Vermonter. 
I spent a lot of time driving between Vermont and New York City, and you realize radio commercials sound different depending on where you are. I'll give you an example. A radio commercial in New York City for a car dealership will sound something like, Mercedes-Benz Manhattan invites you to our summer clearance sale. This summer with the new E-Series Mercedes-Benz, discover how style and luxury can't coexist. You don't ever hear radio commercials like that in New England, do you? They sound more like, come on down to Claremont Mercedes-Benz. I'll tell you, we got a couple of sweet deals for you folks. Come try the new E-Series Mercedes. We'll see style and luxury once we package. Mercedes-Benz Manhattan got John Hamm from Mad Men. Claremont Mercedes-Benz rusty the weeds for the last 15 years. The last time we checked in with Brian Munzer over at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club, he seemed a little nervous about the attendance this evening. We're going to go and check back in with him and see if things have changed. Thanks, Colin. I'm glad to hear everything is going well at the Grange Theater. I'm just a few minutes from going on. Uh, a few of our comics have already canceled, but that's all right, because we're going to give this crowd one heck of a show tonight. All right, back to you guys. Uh, thank you very much for the update, Brian. Uh, we hope uh, some people show up for your show. Now we're going to check back in with Socially Irresponsible Sketch Group to see some more video content. Hi, Ashley. Thank you for coming in today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the opportunity. So my name is Willow, and this is Blaze. We're the two head motivators here. Head motivator? I thought you two were both managers. We don't like to use that word here. Uh, we prefer motivators because we feel that motivation is the best way to lead a team. But we'll get into the 14 agreements later. Uh, the 14 what? Doesn't matter. We'll get to that later. Uh, so Ashley, that's a relatively common name, but that's okay. What makes you want to work here at Fresh Foods Co-op in the produce section? I just finished my MFA, as you can see on uh, my resume, and I'm looking for a part-time job so that I can work on my next writing project. Oh, you're a writer. What kind of writing do you do? Is it like poetry, collection of short stories, or like a screenplay? Please tell me they're working on a screenplay. No, nothing like that. I'm actually working on a book of nonfiction about birds. Um, the spoon-billed sandpiper, to be precise. It's, it's a rare shorebird, and um, I'm studying its migratory patterns because it's becoming extinct. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, I was really hoping for a screenplay. Yeah, totally. Excuse me? Uh, it's not important. Um, it says here you worked on a farm? Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, during the summers in grad school. Hmm. Was it a CSA? Uh, CSA? Community supported agriculture? Uh, no, just a regular farm. It was an organic farm, right? Oh, no. We used pesticides. I mean, in fact, we used a lot of... Uh, but, you know, I, mean, I believe in organic farming. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's the way to go. Well, uh, we can see that you've had plenty of experience with produce, although it's not organic produce, but that's okay. So, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Like, what do you do in your spare time? Not much, you know, um, bird watching, reading, that's about it. That's it? Uh, yeah, that, that's it. You don't have any hobbies, like collecting rare vintage vinyl? That's oddly specific, but no. What about bike polo? Do you play bike polo? No, never, never played bike polo. Not even sure I know what that is. What about photography? Like, you know, with a camera from the 1970s where you've got to change out the filters and, and the lenses, and it's actually pretty inconvenient to carry around. No, uh, and look, I'm sorry, I don't understand what any of these questions have to do with... That's that's fine. Okay, Ashley, um, why don't we just go right ahead and get to the next series of questions. And these are very, very important and may determine whether or not we hire you, okay? So I just want you to answer as honestly as you can and try not to leave anything out. What's your favorite kind of beer? What? Speak your truth. Uh, PBR? Excellent. Um, next question. Do you own a skull cap or skinny jeans, and would you be willing to wear either at work? <laughs> sure. I, I think I have both. But again, I don't know what any of this has to do with my ability to stock produce. Great. Uh, now, do you ever wear glasses or, I mean, they don't have to be prescription. They could just be frames with lenses, maybe some like thick black horn rimmed. Um, Deals. No, I, I don't wear glasses. What about body piercings? Do you have any body piercings? I mean anywhere. No, 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 no body piercings. 
about tattoos, maybe something from a famous piece of literature, perhaps, or some Chinese symbols? No, no tattoos. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Uh, look, I still don't understand what this has to do with my ability to stock produce. Ashley, when people come into the co-op, you're the first person they see when they walk in. So it's important for us to keep up appearances. Appearances? Yes, appearances. Let me ask you one more question, Ashley. Would you be willing to get a body piercing? No. What about just like a little lip ring? No. Like a nose ring? Like a stud? Like a non-conflict diamond stud? No, the answer's still no. What about tattoos? Absolutely not, no. I'm Jewish, okay? And the Torah forbids tattoos. And body piercings, for that matter. There you go, you're Jewish. That's great. I can mean to bring that up earlier. Let's talk about yarmulkes. Do you have any cool yarmulkes? We wear like, like a Jamaican flag themed yarmulke? Look, it's clear that I am not right for this position, okay? Like, I, I'm not willing to alter my body in any way just so that I can stock avocados and prep heads of lettuce. What about Boston butter? I mean, that's some good lettuce. Damn right. Yep. Thank you for your time today, gentlemen. I I'll just see my way out. What if we triple your pay? Of course I'll do it if you triple my pay. <laughs> Let's talk lip rings. It's just a little one. Yeah. yeah. Attach it down there. You should come to my party later. That's going to be... Potluck, I assume? Oh, yeah. I'll bring the bike polo team. Oh, they'll be PBR. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am King Mecca. He is... Pierre Bichon. And we want to welcome you back to Socially Irresponsibles. <laughs> this is a special edition, ladies and gentlemen. Because of our, our, our homeboy, Drake, who's a world-renowned rapper, he has a song called The Kiki, and everybody has made a challenge out of this song. Well, he, he made the challenge. He made the challenge. Excuse yeah, he me. Made the challenge. Yeah. He made the challenge. So, Pierre, I believe we are about to watch a couple of people try to do the Drake mm -hmm. challenge. Oh, here we go. Jumping out of cars and dancing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please do not try the challenge at home. Don't. Based on what we've been seeing, don't. Usually try it in traffic. Yeah, <laughs> please. Right, here we go. Oh! She didn't even get out. Like, she didn't even make it out the door, open and out. Like, that, that looked like an escape. Okay, no, 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 no. we got. Uh, oh! oh you see the feet go? They crossed. The that challenge is just that hard. Yeah, oh, let's see. I bet he makes it. I bet the visor tells me he's going to make it. I don't know. I'm, hold on. What do you guys quick. think? You think you're going to make quick, it? Quick, quick, quick. Yep. Uh, oh! oh. Didn't oh, they just it? left him. The car didn't even want him. Car, did <laughs> car just shut the door on him. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right. Oh, we got emojis. Look at her, Look at her murking oh, with the emojis. Oh, oh, oh they're a little oh, early, though. Hey, she's making... Oh, oh. She almost oh, made it. Oh, that was right there, like that. <laughs> <laughs> the door's fighting back. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, look at him. He's like, how am I oh, supposed man. to do the kiki? You put my kiki up. <laughs> Mexican Napoleon I'm do Dynamite it again. Now, Come pissed. on, come on. Oh my God. Me. Yeah, You're it going again. too fast. Oh God. Stop the <laughs> car. Get rid of you. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> oh. I just watched a crash test dummy. Like, I actually saw it. Wow. He's pissed. Look at him. Yeah, you tell him, kid. We're going to do it again. <laughs> oh God. He went through the window. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, she made it out the car. She got it. She's starting. Uh, uh, big girl. Uh, well, look big at her girl. go. Oh, look she's at that high step. Uh, she's at that. galloping. She galloping. Look at her. Uh, uh, oh, look at that weird, creepy ball. tongue. Uh, oh, yeah. Cover up. Cover up. Oh, the car left her. Oh, she's back. She's okay. Back. She, she moving. Look at her. Uh oh, we got uh, we got a contestant, uh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She, she, she gets back. It's all about it's all about getting back in, though. Can she get back in? Did she get in? She got in. Oh. Oh! The Fupa didn't get in. Oh, the gut hit the wheel and then pushed it her was, out. Oh. oh. Oh, why is your mom on here? First of all, this is disrespectful to my whole culture. Oh my what God. Is what has happened? What's up with them shorts? Oh. Are they what? shorts? I don't even know. Is he, is it? Is it a he? Is it a turban? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knocked the turban off. That's what you get for dressing like that. Wow. Knocked that... the turban off. <laughs> Are you serious? Is this a new version of what? Oh, oh, oh. Kiki India. Kiki India. Hey. Oh, it's like hey, Bollywood. Hey, Look at hey. this. <laughs> We're watching Bollywood. See, now they got some real asses out there. Yeah, Look at that. Look at the uh, twerk. Uh, this should have been on the twerking episode. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh, look at him work that. Work that uh, bull. You see how they in tandem yeah. with it? Uh. But how do you mount the cow? I don't understand. Hey, oh. hey, uh. hey, hey, hey. Man, that is dirt. They are doing dirt. They teaching him how to oh, do it. Look at it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. And he's smacking that ass. Oh, look at smacking that ass. Look. Literally. Look at that. Look at that. Uh. Uh, uh, and he made it. He made it. They, they're the only ones so far. I've done the chat. Right, okay. Here we go. Uh oh. I think he's got it. Look at him. He's got swagger. Oh. Hey. 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 Oh. Oh, he had swagger until a car hit him. <laughs> I don't think that's part of the challenge. No, I don't think Drake intended that. Oh man, look. look he got him. scars. Look oh, at. He him. got beat up, but now he's gonna. The girls are gonna love him until they find oh, out. Oh, definitely. Why. He's got to make up a lie on why that happened. Well, he, he, he should can, be glad that didn't happen in the club. Yeah, I mean, well, he's got to tell people that he fought off a shark or something. or something. Because there is no way, if he tells people he got that from the Kiki Dance Challenge, he is, he's oh, not he, going to get laid. His ghetto pass is revoked. No, I just, ah, I can't you can't get scars that. doing the Kiki. They don't mind the mud or nothing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kiki, Kiki. He got that. Look at that footwork. He's right there. He's there. And then, ooh. Oh. The thing that bothers me is that the car wasn't even moving, so no. he didn't have that part of the challenge. Yeah. So technically, that was like... That was like he just did some stupid shit. Like you he know, didn't even on, do the the Apo- on Showtime at the Apollo, when the Sandman comes and pulls yeah, you Yeah, pulls you with the hook? I think the car played the Sandman. <laughs> he was the hook. They're like, see, your car isn't even moving, so yeah. get up out yeah, of here. Get here. out. You're out. You're <laughs> out. And everyone's booing. Like, even his friends are like, oh. They don't even seem that concerned. They're just more upset that he didn't do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of I am your boy, King Mecca. I'm Pierre Bichon. And we will see you next week, man. Later. This is ridiculous. Wow. I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. I'm not even doing it in my bathroom. Yeah. I'm just going to slip yeah. on the soap and break my <laughs> neck. And, and your girl just leave. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. She's getting the corner. Jumping <laughs> and run. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere because tonight, Hickory, the drunken underwhelming, performs his most unbelievable stunt yet. He will be making himself disappear off of a bridge surrounded by water. Stay tuned. I suffer from Hershey Simplex 1, but I don't want to give it to my loved ones. So I take Smalltrex, the new pill from Pfizer, your most trusted drug company. Thanks, Mom. I love my family, but when I get a breakout, I have to keep my distance, and that breaks my heart. So I decided to go to my doctor and ask for Smalltrex. Here at Pfizer, We strive to give the best medicine at the cheapest prices to help you. So if you suffer from Hershey Simplex 1, call your doctor today to see if Smalltrex is right for you. Please consult your doctor before using Smalltrex. You may experience the following side effects. Anal leakage, extreme craving for chocolate, hair loss in the eyebrows, loss of motor functions, hallucinations, multiple personalities, eyes may permanently change a different color, and in a rare case, you may grow a tail. Try Smalltrex today. We both have Hershey Simplex 1. So we take small treks for our daily lives. Ramonto's Brick and Brew Restaurant located at the historic Bridgewater Mill in Bridgewater, Vermont. A family-friendly destination filled with patrons and locals where everyone's treated like family. With over 20 different beers available on draft, fresh pizza made daily, salads, and wings, Ramonto's Brick and Brew in Bridgewater is your stop for family fun. Ramonto's Brick and Brew, available for takeout. I'd like to welcome back to the stage tonight's musical guest, Indigenous Entertainment. I'm going to keep it light and happy out there for you folks. Got enough anxiety and depression going on already. goes out to Pappy and Gam Gam. I 
said love is grandma's home cooking stealing a kiss when no one's looking booking yourself a flight to an island acting spontaneous being vibrant love is timing be prepared thankful for the moment that got shared dared oh then we got involved this is what happens when we fall we evolve to a higher purpose love is the truth when it comes to surface not worthless we are blessed do your homework love is a test Love is a test. I see the trees, the hills, the crops, the fields. Love is the fruit that the harvest yields. Feel with all your soul. Unbelievable, in control, with the firm hold it has on us all. Will you answer the phone when love does call? Resolve, or it may break you. There's no telling where life may take you. Make you who you are today. Lost, love is the way. Love is the way It's been said that money makes the world around mm, I don't think so Scientifically speaking, they say the sun makes the world around Said love is the color of the sun the diligence of every monk and none the sum of all our friends how do you feel well it depends it ends right where it starts bend through the mind love is the heart been torn apart we've been left for the wolves the fire well love is the coals the poles are in votes been taken do you love it stood or better yet shaken a vagrant wanders in your life my girlfriend love is your wife Love is your wife. So love is a friend, an enemy. A sickness, love is a remedy. So many memories unfold before thee. This is a road, love is a story, never boring. No, it's always exciting. Pen and paper, love is a writing, a light in some dark corridor. Less well, we want more, win the war for the unheard of. It hurts love, some just curse love, never learn love. The what the words of old up. We work for love. We work for love. Who do you work for? We work for love. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you heard, Indigenous Entertainment, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, back to the guys at the Comedy Club. The last time we checked in with Brian Munzer over at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club, he seemed a little nervous about the attendance this evening. We're gonna go and check back in with him and see if things have changed. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Who's ready for comedy? Guys, I'm super excited to be hosting my first show here at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club. And as you know, we're going to be raising money for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund. So thank you guys so much for coming out. I am having kind of a strange day, though, you know? Like, I'm starting to realize that one of my dads might be gay. You guys ever played chess with an Australian? It can be pretty frustrating. Did you say checkmate or check? Mate, I have no words for how bad I am at Scrabble. Some people don't like puns about board games, so I feel like I'm taking a bit of a risk with those jokes. And if you didn't like them, all I can say is I'm sorry if those jokes did not connect for you. I had a piece of cake first thing in the morning. Some people would say that's unhealthy, I say, ah, it's somebody's birthday somewhere. 
I just started a band called the Duvets. We're a cover band. I started a craft brewery for non-alcoholic beer. So far we just have one beer. It's an IPAA. I started a skylight installation company. Sales are going not as well as we hoped. I think that if you've ever used the expression, there's more than one way to skin a cat, then you're probably more of a dog person. One of my buddies' real full name is Nicholas, but uh, we always just refer to him by his nickname. Sometimes I have so much trouble helping my daughter put the straw into her Capri Sun that I'm amazed I have a daughter. I don't have a lot of advice for parents other than if you ever have to buy underwear for a five-year-old girl, make sure she's at the store with you. Never know what to get my daughter for her birthday. So this year I just got her a train set because I thought it was cool and it was awesome. She loved this train set. It was a little weird though because whenever you would go in her room, it just looked like Barbie had moved to like the oh. part of town. One of my buddies' name is Nicholas, but uh, we always refer to him by his nickname. Sometimes when I see somebody with a full beard and a bald head, just for a second, I always think, is his head upside down? Can we all agree that improving self-esteem for dummies? I don't think that's the best title for that book. Spoiler alert, if you leave milk out on the counter, all right, so now um, with, uh, if you guys are all right with this, I was thinking I would try out some crowd work. So let's see, uh, uh, you in the back, what do you do for a living? You talking to me? Yeah, what do, you, what do you do for a living? I'm running the camera. Oh, right, I guess I, I, guess I knew that already. Uh, how's, how's it going? Nobody's asked me that before. Thank you. All right. Very well, thank you. All right. Well, um, thanks for thanks for coming here to the Bowl of Milk Comedy Club. If you enjoyed that stand-up comedy, please take a moment to follow Wool and Milk Comedy Club on Facebook to see the full programming list and upcoming shows. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting it. Unbelievable, folks. You're not going to believe this, ladies and gentlemen. We just received a donation for six trillion dollars that's unbelievable six trillion dollars folks thank you to the federal reserve this is just fantastic news my great grandchildren are going to love paying that back this is fantastic now for those of you watching at home i hope you're prepared to what you're going to see next tonight hickory the drunken underwhelming performs his most unbelievable illusion yet he will make himself disappear off of a bridge surrounded by water Three, two, one. Where's Hickory? Where, where's Hickory? Anyone see him? Folks, I am just blown away. What an unbelievable illusion that Hickory the Drunken Underwhelming has performed tonight. He will be doing a weekly show available online, so please take a moment to find him on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I have to say, what a great night we've had here at the Grange Theater here in Pomfret. I want to thank you all for tuning in, watching this program, and of course your unwavering support for the Woodstock Area Relief Fund. It really is a great cause that is helping a lot of families out. I would like to take just a moment to thank all of our entertainment tonight. 
I would like to thank Artistry's Grange Theater, the Woolen Mill Comedy Club, Indigenous Entertainment, Socially Irresponsible Sketch Group, and Hickory the Drunk and Underwhelming. Stay tuned for some more shows from him, available live, and we'll see you next time here at the Grange Theater. Find myself somewhere beside the sea All these stars that we are counting All we need for we is you and me Wanna hold you like the morning sunshine Keep you close, I won't let you go Little mama, tell me what's on your mind Come on over and make yourself at home Gonna break my heart, I'm not so sure If you get lonely, I might be the cure Take some caution, a word to the wise It's just another day in paradise Some of us work the nine to five Some of us, will we be out till four Ain't one of us getting out of here alive Here you ain't allowed in this town no more